Okay guys, so it's time to set up the communal setup and this is a massive enclosure it's going to need quite a bit of substrate so over here in the bucket we have some coconut fibre that I've added water to and that's now completely expanded what I'm going to do is I'm going to tip that into this container here and then add some peat moss so cocoa fibre is great for holding moisture but I have noticed that it does tend to support mould growth more than I'd like so by mixing a bit of peat moss in there that's quite acidic and that should stop the mould problem that I get sometimes ok so I've mixed the peat moss and the coconut fibre and we've got something that looks very much like soil now and the light colour of the coconut fibre mixed with a very dark peat makes a pretty nice looking substrate and because the coconut fibre is very wet and the peat's very dry what you get is a substrate that has pretty much the ideal moisture content which is when you take a handful and squeeze it no water drops out but it does leave the shape that your hands made in it and you can crumble it up nicely so this is a good base substrate that I'm going to use but because there are millipedes and beetle larvae that will feed on the substrate we need other things in there as well so I've got some millipede substrate that I brought from the spider shop this is a mixture of compost and decomposed leaves so that would be great for the beetles as well as the millipedes and also this one here is more specialised millipede substrate this one's actually got bits of decayed wood in there as well so this will be the base layer in the communal enclosure and I'll mix in a few leaves and on the top of that will be these two substrates and this one so yeah let's get it into the enclosure okay guys so it's getting quite late decided to just crack on with the enclosure all the substrate is in and all of the decor as well so we've got some cork bark and some logs in there some cool moss growing up it so yeah I think it looks pretty good and I'm quite happy with how it's turned out and now comes the best bit which is to get the critters in there okay so first I'm going to put the wood lice in but before I do that Thought I'd get a nice close up of them for you. Very cool looking, almost like they've been painted yellow. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd get a close up now because once they go into the big enclosure, I imagine it might be a while before I see them again. So yeah, let's get these guys in. So I'm just going to tip them here at the front and let them make their own way. Looks like they're off exploring already and I'm sure it won't be long before they find a nice hiding place okay then guys let's get something else in there next up we have the funky looking cockroaches um, I think these are a kind of hissing cockroach I'm not sure if they're actually going to hiss while I try and grab them there goes the first one. Let's grab the others. Oh, not sure if you heard that hiss then. Off they go. Yeah, definitely be a while before I see them again. I'm sure they'll make a home in the cork bark hides I've put in. Looks like the woodlarks are still busy exploring. In no hurry to uh, disappear out of sight. Next we're going to put the giants in. These are the giant millipedes. And this is the biggest thing that's going into the enclosure see the size of that one compared to the wood louse and that is actually the smallest one as well so let's grab the other two and 
put one up there on the top like that and put one over here as well and the last things to go in are these jewel beetles you can see they are quite small but that means they've got all the more space to venture around the enclosure this is a female so let's get her into the enclosure now I'm pretty sure these will be able to fly so that's why I've chosen to put these in last looks like she would rather crawl over me than the cork bark gonna need both hands for this one I think one of the millipedes is now venturing around and you can hear it crawling over the leaves which is pretty cool you can see a woodlouse just down there and there's one of the fruit beetles on the cork bark so yeah it's pretty cool and just the kind of effect that I was going for yeah, it looks like the millipede's gone straight for the cork bark there hide away from the light okay guys so everything's in now and I've put some food in there as well for them so there's a bit of cucumber there there's a banana flavoured beetle jelly there uh, looks like that millipede's just starting to explore as well yeah, the wood lice have scattered around quite nicely. Cockroaches have all hidden away for the moment. And there's even a wood lice on that tree there. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it's looking. And it'll be very interesting to see how this turns out. Yeah, hopefully all the creatures will be happy in here. And I will be sure to keep you updated on it. Okay then guys, thanks for watching and I shall see you again soon.